There's no I in team, but there is in the political ad paid for by Democratic Secretary of State Jenna Griswold as she takes credit for accomplishments that were not entirely her own work. Politics guy Marshall Zellinger explains in his latest truth test. I'm Jenna Griswold. Democratic Secretary of State Jenna Griswold makes four distinct claims in her political ad. It's why I expanded in-person voting. Yes, but it was the state legislature that ultimately passed the bill that changed the election laws in Colorado, changes that have come with input from county clerks. A bill in 2019 updated how many in-person voting centers must be open based on the county's population. It also added in-person voting centers on college campuses. They're called voter service and polling centers, and there are around 300 in-person voting, though, does not impact most Colorado voters. In June, 1% of primary votes were cast in person. 99% turned in a mail-in ballot, the same percentages last November. And in the 2020 presidential election, 6%, not quite 200,000, voted in person. Launched a statewide system so every voter could track their ballot. Yes, it's called ballot tracks. Increased ballot drop boxes by over 65%. Yes, but with help. The increase in ballot drop boxes was part of the 2019 state legislation that also added in-person voting centers. It also added drop boxes to college campuses. The number of drop boxes also increased because counties could get the cost covered through CARES Act funding. And passed automatic voter registration, registering over 350,000 eligible Coloradans. Saying she passed automatic voter registration is a stretch. It existed before Griswold. She helped modify how it works with a bill passed by lawmakers in 2019. Starting in 2017, drivers getting a license or updating their address at the DMV would be asked if they wanted to register to vote. You could decline on the spot. Now, because of that 2019 bill, you cannot decline to be registered to vote at the DMV. The DMV shares your info with the Secretary of State's office, which shares it with your county clerk. Then you get sent a mailer. You can opt out and not be registered to vote, pick a party, or do nothing and be registered as an unaffiliated voter. And that's why there's so many unaffiliated voters. Now, I don't show it, but at the end of the ad, Griswold stands in front of a ballot box with people appearing to drop ballots off. I found out that video was shot in August. The ballot box was not unlocked and the people were essentially taking paper to the ballot and then sticking it to tape so it looked like it disappeared. Ah, it's no like special favors involved in that. No. So, okay, so this is interesting. So you flip on MSNBC pretty much any night of the week and you're gonna see Secretary Griswold on there dragging election deniers uh, and, and uh, the folks who think that, you know, mail-in ballots are rigged, machines are rigged or whatever else. And you thought it was noteworthy the first claim that she puts in this act. You look at the claims and the first one impacts a small number of people about uh, in-person voting. And the people who are big on in-person voting are the ones that don't wanna turn in a mail ballot mm -hmm. are the election conspiracy theorists. So why of all the claims is that the one front and center at the top of the ad? It just, it stuck out to me, especially 1% in the most recent election. 15,000, not even enough people to fill ball arena. Interesting. So you think that might be a nod to people who might not totally trust the election. Interesting. I don't know.